Hey everyone, this is Funny, and today I'll show you how to solve this uh, longest substring without repeating characters problem. Uh, let's take a look at the problem description. Uh, given a string, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. Uh, so it seems to be very straightforward. We need to find the longest substring and the length of it. So if we take the examples here, it's a, b, c, a, b, c, and b, b. The output is three because um, the substring would be a, b, c longest substring and a, b, c again. So either of it, the length would be three. Um, if we take another example here, we have uh, b that has repeated five times. Um, so the length of the substring uh, would be one. And then here it's p, w, w, k, e, w. Um, so the length of the longest substring would be w, k, and e, or it could be k, e, w, but the length is three. Um, okay, so how do we solve this problem? The brute force approach that we can think of is uh, finding all the substrings, uh, for checking if the substring has no uh, repeating characters, and then checking the substring with the maximum length. Uh, such an approach would take a time complexity of n cube. Um, instead, we can solve it using a two-pointer technique. So let's see how this two-pointer technique approach works. So this is the given string here. Uh, let's convert that into a character array. And let's have two pointers left and right. And we'll have a hash set to keep track of the characters that we have visited. Now, here is the approach. So let's see if the element pointed by right, if it is not in the hash set, then let's add that character to the hash set, update this right pointer by one, and then take the difference between right and left, and that will give us the length. And the max length would be the maximum of whatever max length we had previously, and the current difference between right and left. So and then we'll we'll take the max of both of them. Um, so that is if at all if the character is not present then we'll add that. So that is the first case. The second case is if the character is already seen then we'll remove the character pointed to by left and then update the left pointer. So it, it is important to remember here we are not removing the character pointed to by right if we have already seen we are just removing the character that is pointed to by left so what do i mean by that you will understand uh, as we go so this is a pseudo code here now right is pointing to a and it is not in the hash set so let's add a to the hash set and then update right by one now the max length would be the right minus left, so which is 1. Now right is pointing to B, so B goes to the hash set, it is not there. So, And then we will update right to point to C, C is all, all not in the hash set, so we will add C to the hash set and then our max length would be 3. Now right is pointing to A here, um, so A is already in the hash set, so we will remove the element pointed to by left which in case in this case is a here so we'll remove a and update the left pointer now right is uh, pointing to a here so we'll add a to the hash set and up update the max length which in this case is 3 again now right is pointing to b b is already in the hash set so we'll remove the element or character that is pointed to by left uh, here it is b again so we'll remove that. Right is still pointing to B now. So we'll add B to the hash set and update the right pointer. Now C's uh, right pointer is pointing to C. So let's remove the character pointed to by left, which is C in this case. So we'll remove C. Now right pointer is pointing to C. So we'll add C to the hash set. All the uh, during all these iterations the max length is uh, remaining at 3. Now right pointer is pointing to B. So let us remove the character pointed to by left which in this case is A and not B. 
so that is something that uh, we need to take care of now uh, right pointer is pointing to b and b is already in the hash set so uh, we'll remove the element point or the character pointed to by left here which is b so we'll remove that now right pointer is pointing to b let's add it left pointer is pointing to c and right pointer is pointing to b b is already in the hash set so let's remove the uh, character pointed to by left pointer which is c now right pointer is pointing to b let's remove that character pointed to by left which is b and now both left and right are at the end of the array so but still um, right is pointing to b which is not in the hash set so we'll add that and then right goes uh, uh, and we have reached the end of the array so and the max length is 3 here so we return this now with all this information let's try to write the code like I said initially let's convert the given string into a character array let's keep two pointers left and right initially pointing to index 0 let's keep a variable for max length and let's have a hash set of character to keep track of the elements that we have visited already now while our right pointer is less than array dot length if at all our hash set ok let us take the case where it does not contain the element pointed to by right then let us add that element or character to the hash set update the right pointer and then our max length would be because we have seen a new character we will update the max length to be equal to math dot max of the previous max length and the difference between the right and the left pointer now if we we have already seen if the hash set contains that array of right the element pointed to by right then we will remove the element pointed to by left so let us remove that array of left and update the left pointer to point to the next index and at the end let us return the max length so let us try to run this code okay it is working fine let us submit this alright guys this is 97.69 percent faster than other online java submissions now uh, the time complexity of this solution is uh, o of 2n or uh, o of n because in the worst case will both the right and the left pointer will visit all the characters so that will be uh, 2 times of the length of the string which is 2n and which is same as o of n and the space complexity here is uh, will be equal to o of n because in the worst case we will have all the characters that is uh, non repeating and uh, the space complexity would be o of n um, alright guys thank you very much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please uh, hit the like button and also do subscribe thank you again bye